Not moving much. Uh, it has had a rough time the last few weeks, but an estimated 500 protesters are outside the shareholders meeting being held in Charlotte, North Carolina today. A handful of arrests have been made by police so far at this point. Yeah, joining us now, one of the organizers of the protest, Max Berger, is joining us. Max, thanks for joining us. We appreciate it. What's your beef with Bank of America? What's the problem? So I think there's a couple of things. First off, uh, Bank of America is a financially and morally bankrupt institution uh, that's too big to fail and has only gotten larger. Um, we think that the share price right now actually just reflects the uh, value of the implicit government guarantee. And we don't think that as American taxpayers, or American citizens, we should be propping up a financial institution that's bad for America. Is B of A unique in that regard? Do you feel other banks uh, are different from B of A right now? I think that they're the consistently worst offender. Um, so personally, I was defrauded by Bank of America to the tune of uh, thousands of dollars in illegal foreclosure fees and you know that's something that they've settled for in civil uh, civil cases and persistently uh, done over and over again so we think there's a real pattern of behavior there um, that can only be addressed through restructuring so what do you want to see happen then what, what what would you like to see as a solution what are you trying to accomplish today yeah so uh, I think that Bank of America is a ticking time bomb that threatens to explode on the American taxpayer and the American economy. And so we have a very simple proactive solution, which is to break it up. We think that's the only way that it's going to change its illegal pattern of behavior, and it's the best way to protect uh, the American taxpayer and the American economy. But what kind of what kind of intelligence or sort of credibility might you have or, or the Occupy groups have in terms of really understanding and knowing what's involved in the breakup of a bank? I mean, why would, uh, well, why would what respect. you say why would what you say matter more so than, for example, what the board says or what management says in terms of understanding the complexities of this company? Sure. So I think that there are a couple answers here. One is at Occupy, we have some really fantastic folks who uh, previously worked in finance and know where the bodies are buried, so to speak, and have been helping us put together this campaign. Um, but more importantly, we're all taxpayers. We're all citizens. We all have a stake in the outcome uh, of what happens with this uh, with this company. And, you know, the fact that we still have these two big to fail banks, um, we can't let them continue to exist and we need to, to break them up. Bank of America, I think, uh, is the worst offender in that regard because they are so weak and because they still uh, depend upon so much government support to continue to exist. Max, I'm glad you're here because, I, you know, working here on Wall Street, especially at the New York Stock Exchange, we see the Occupy folks outside all the time with the various placards and the various protests that they have. And whenever I discuss this, this uh, issue with people, the question they always have, and I'm going to pose it to you, is what exactly are you protesting? It seems to be an unfocused anger. I mean, for example, you have income inequality issues, environmental issues, issues, racial discrimination, foreclosure practices, and on and on as it pertains to uh, uh, the, the banking industry. Do you lack credibility simply because you lack focus with your protest movement? So I think there's two answers here. First off, this is an incredibly focused protest here today. We're saying break up Bank of America because it's insolvent and it's bad for America. So that's answer number one. In terms of Occupy generally, I think it's a very simple answer. We're here uh, to support equality and fairness. Um, and that's something that's true across all of those issues. Um, I think what you've seen over the past couple of years is a tremendous amount of anger at what's essentially two systems, one uh, for folks who have and one for those who have not. Um, and so what we're here today to say is that we want the same system for everyone, and the right. bankers who broke the law should be treated the same as uh, the rest of us. Max, let me ask you this. Um, how would you like to see the bank broken up? Go through the